All right, welcome back to part three of text portraiture. What we're going to do is, well, we just finished making our brush presets. And for layers, we have our black and gray layer and a white layer. Let's go ahead and add one more white layer by clicking this Add New Layer. And go to Edit, Fill, White. And make sure transparency is not selected there. Hit OK. Now I've got two of these. All right, let's select this black and gray layer. And let's do Control A. That's going to select all. And let's do Control C to copy it. Very good. Now let's select this top white layer and add a black mask by holding the Alt key down and select the Add Mask. That makes a black mask instead of a white one. Now let's bring that mask forward by hitting the Alt key and selecting the mask. We'll turn it black. Well, this is your mask here you're looking at. And then let's do a Control V, which will paste our selection. And let's do a Control I to inverse that selection. And let's do a Control D to deselect. And finally, let's put the mask back in its place by holding the Alt key down again and selecting the mask. OK. So I have this negative looking mask. And right in here, I, all I see is white because I need to paint now. So select the white area here and go to your brush drop down, scroll all the way down to the brush preset that you made, just click one of them, go to Window, Brushes, or F5, go to Brush Tip Shape, make sure your spacing is correct, and Shape Dynamics, make sure, I just drag the jitter all the way over there, and this jitter all the way over. Alright, now check this out, because I have the mask in place, when I paint, make sure black is in the foreground, I'm just going to drag back and forth like this. Okay, and I don't want to get it totally filled up, okay, because I'm using br four different kinds of brushes. So I use the bracket keys to change the size. I'm going to go a little bit bigger now and do the same thing, just kind of swirl around here and let it fill in. And now I'm going to change brushes to get a nice variety. Window, brushes, same thing. Brush tip, change that spacing up. Shape dynamics looks the same. And just start coming in there with... Now the eyes, you want to make sure you hit those pretty good. And uh, I'm going to pump the size up here a little bit bigger with my bracket keys. And I'm going to hit some of these sh important shadow areas with some big, bold text. See how those eyes are starting to come together now? If I make a mistake, okay, I can just flip to white and use a different brush. Scroll back to the top, use one of these big soft brushes. And I could come in and, oh, let's say it got too muddy in here. Just paint white in there and then go back and touch it up with one of your brushes. Make sure you flip back to black. Oop, messed up there. Control Z. I uh, need to go back to brushes and change the uh, spacing. It isn't fixed. Alright, so I'm going to go around and clean that up and I'll come back to you. Finally, to add a little flair at the end here, just add a new mask and or a new layer Okay, and then just come in here and you just throw a couple loose ones in there. Just so it doesn't look so perfect, right? Like there's some just text just kind of hanging out in some spots there. It'll make it look a little less, uh, just a little more loose. Alright, so that looks pretty cool. All right, part four, the next one will show you how to do block text instead of random text like this, and you get a whole different effect. Good luck.